up guys welcome to another session of learning a prep class i am bc and i am a prep class teacher in this video i'll be solving questions 41 to 45 of the loyola jc college entrance examination mathematics paper 5. have you subscribed to this channel if you haven't done so do so right now to get access to more videos like this now are you ready to begin let's begin okay so the first question is question 41 a trader bought an item for 552 naira, he then sold it at a profit of 419 naira 52 kobo. What is his percentage profit? Okay, so first of all, we have to bring out all the information given in this question. Now, a trader bought an item for 552 naira, that is the cost price. Then he then sold it at a profit of 419 naira 52 kobo. That's the profit. Now, the question is, what is his percentage profit? Now, the percentage profit is given as Profit divided by cost price multiplied by 100. The profit is 419 naira 52 kobo. Then the cost price is 552 naira. So we have 419 naira 52 kobo divided by 552 naira multiplied by 100. So let's do this now. Okay. So we have 419 naira 52 kobo multiplied by 100 divided by 552 naira. 419 naira 52 kobo multiplied by 100 would give. 41,952 naira. So we have 41,952 naira divided by 552 naira. So naira cancels naira. So we are left with 41,952 divided by 552, which can be done here using the long division method. So in long division method, we'll find out the first possible digit that is divisible by 552. And that is 4,195. So 4,195 divided by 552 is 7. 7 times 552 is 3,864. 5 minus 4 is 1. 9 minus 6 is 3. 1 minus 8 is not possible. So we get 1 from 4, which will make 3. Put 1 here, it becomes 11. 11 minus 8 is 3. Then 3 minus 3 is 0. So we do not write it. Now we have 331. 331 is not divisible by 552. So we have to drop down the next digit, which is 2. So now we have 3,312. 3,312 divided by 552 is 6. 6 times 552 is 3,312. Okay, so 3,312 minus 3,312 is 0. So now we've been able to completely divide 41,952 divided by 552. And the answer is 76%. So the percentage profit of this trader is 76%. So the correct option here is option A, 76.0. Check. Now, question 42 says evaluate 12 square. Now, what is the square of a number? The square of a number is the value obtained when the number is multiplied by itself. So 12 square means 12 multiplied by 12. So let's do that here. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. Now let's add this partial product together to get the final product. 4 plus nothing is 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. 1 plus nothing is 1. So it's 144. So 12 square is 144. So the correct option here is option A, 144. Check. Question 43 now. Evaluate 486.25883 correct to two decimal places. This is very easy. Very, very easy. Now, first of all, how do you know the number of decimal places? The number of decimal places is the number of digits in the decimal part of a decimal number. So, 486.25883 is a decimal number because it has a decimal point. Now, the whole number part is 486. The decimal part is 25883. So, the number of decimal places is the number of digits in the decimal part. So, 486.25883 has five decimal places. One, two, three, four, five. So there are five digits in the decimal point. So this means that this decimal number has five decimal places. Now we are asked to correct two decimal places. How do we do this? The first step is to draw a vertical line after the second decimal place. So this is the second decimal place. So draw a line there. Then the next thing is to look at the next digit. The next digit is eight. So what do you look at the next digit for? You check if it is 4 or less. That is 4, 3, 2, 1, or 0. So if it is 4 or less, you keep the previous digit as it is. But if it is 5 or more, that is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, you increase 
the previous digit by one. So eight is the digit after five years. So what do we do? We increase the previous digit by one. So we add one to five, and that will give six. So this means that four hundred and eighty-six point two five eight eight three is four hundred and eighty-six point two six. Correct is two decimal places. So you can see this is easy. So the correct option here is option C, four hundred and eighty-six point two six. Check. Question forty-four. Two hundred and forty-eight multiplied by nine hundred and forty-nine is equal to. So this is just simple multiplication. So we are asked to multiply this number. So the first thing is we are going to multiply two hundred and forty-eight by nine, which will give us the first partial product. Eight multiplied by nine is seventy-two. So write two, carry seven. Nine multiplied by four is thirty-six. Thirty-six plus seven is forty-three. So write three, carry four. Nine times two is eighteen. Eighteen plus four is twenty-two. So the first partial product is two thousand two hundred and thirty-two. Now the next thing is to multiply two hundred and forty-eight by forty. The place value of four in nine hundred and forty-nine is forty. So that is why we are multiplying two hundred and forty-eight by forty. So let's start. Four times eight is thirty-two. Write two. Carry three. Four times four is sixteen. Sixteen plus three is nineteen. Write nine. Carry one. Four times two is eight. Eight plus one is nine. So the second partial product is nine thousand nine hundred and twenty. Now the next thing is two hundred and forty-eight multiplied by nine hundred. The place value of nine in nine hundred and forty-nine is hundred. Okay, so that is why it's hundred. So we write zero zero here. Now let's multiply. Nine times eight is seventy-two. Write two, carry seven. Nine times four is thirty-six. Thirty-six plus seven is forty-three. Write three, carry four. Nine times two is eighteen. Eighteen plus four is twenty-two. So the third partial product is two hundred and twenty-three thousand two hundred. So now let's add the first, second, and third partial product together to get the final product. Two plus zero plus zero is two. Three plus two is five. Five plus zero is five. Two plus nine is eleven. Eleven plus three is thirteen. So write three, carry one. One plus two is three. Three plus nine is twelve. Twelve plus three is fifteen. So write five, carry one. One plus two is three. Then two plus nothing is two. So the answer is two hundred and thirty-five thousand three hundred and forty-two. So the product of two hundred and forty-eight and nine hundred and forty-nine is two hundred and thirty-five thousand three hundred and forty-two. And the correct option here is option D, two hundred and thirty-five thousand three hundred and forty-two. Check. Now the final question in this video is question forty-five, and it says find the perimeter of the square shown. So this is the square. So first of all, what is perimeter? Perimeter is the distance around a shape. Okay, the perimeter of a square is given as 4a, where a is length of one side, and the length of one side is given here as 73 centimeters. So a is 73 centimeters. So the perimeter of this square is 4 times 73 centimeters, which can be done here. 4 times 3 is 12, right? So carry one. 4 times 7 is 28. 28 plus 1 is 29. So we have 292 centimeters. So the perimeter of this square is 292 centimeters, which is option B. Check. I hope you enjoyed this video and you're able to learn a lot. Please don't forget to like and comment on this video. Also, subscribe to this channel to get access to more videos like this that will help you in preparation for your examination. Till I come your way next time. Bye.